Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American expat, and I wanted to make this video as a sort of an update to the situation over there in Moscow. I want to thank uh, those of you who watched the channel. Somebody left a comment. Mutant Riff, thanks so much for the uh, the comment. It, it as always, I mean, uh, so yeah, the uh, the U.S. government apparently was giving out warnings about the attack uh, at least two weeks prior to it happening. And now, I mean, it's all over in the news on our side, too. It's not like something they're trying to cover up. But it is a little bit strange how this is all playing out. We're going to talk about that coming up in just a second. So stick around. Thanks for sticking with us and bearing with all these antics. This is an unscripted show, so what we say, we say, and uh, it sometimes doesn't always come out. By the way, speaking of comments, somebody left a comment. They didn't like the one of the videos I put together. Apparently, they were six minutes in, and I hadn't, I didn't know anything, so they they were clicking off, and they took the time to leave a comment to let me know. And uh, <laughs> well, hey, let me tell you ahead of time, just in case you thought I was someone that knows stuff or has, you know, inside information. I don't. I am not an expert in anything. So I do appreciate if you would share your knowledge with us. Again, thanks, uh, Mutant Riff, for leaving comments and everyone else who left comments on the videos. So, uh, yes, up to two weeks at least prior to this uh, this terror attack taking place in Moscow, the uh, U.S. government, the State Department, was warning uh, U.S. citizens in very specific ways, like don't go to events, you know, don't go to concerts, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, yeah, it just, uh, I, I think that in some circles they're saying, oh my gosh, it means they're involved. I know CIA and some other things were kind of uh, trending on Twitter. And they're trying to suggest that maybe the United States had a hand to play in this terror attack. I, I'm kind of of the opinion that no, they didn't. But um, after what happened on October 7th in Israel, I don't think that, you know, they might be a little bit more eager to tell what they know. So they uh, have made it clear in the news that they did tell the Russian government, hey, you know, this might happen. Uh, so, yeah, but it's it just there's one sad aspect to this that I just I can't help but feel terrible seeing this. So let me pull up these uh, news articles that I've got here. This is from NBC News. U.S. warned Russia about potential terrorist attacks in Moscow. It says the United States shared information about a potential terrorist attack in Moscow with Russia's government earlier this month, a spokesperson for the National Security Council said. I, uh, <clears throat> when I read this, this headline, when I start reading into this article, it, to me, it just feels the same as the stuff that comes out of China. You know, when something bad happens and it's kind of embarrassing or somehow it might be taken the wrong way, the Chinese news will start releasing all this stuff like about how actually China did a good job and, you know, and nobody's questioning like, was it right for you to do this or was it wrong for you to do that? In this case, you know, whether it was right or wrong for the United States government to tell them and warn them, but they feel that they have to come in here and use propaganda to try and spin this in some way because they're afraid that people will think that they had a hand in it. And I, that's not what makes me sad. Of course, they don't want to be seen as, you know, like we were trying to help orchestrate a terrorist attack. Um, and they want to be seen as like, hey, look, we, we warned them. We tried to help. We tried to save the day. Uh, whether they, they didn't listen to us or not or didn't take proper precautions, I don't know what Moscow did. But uh, this, I, I, uh, it, it, the, that's not the purpose of the news. The news is not there to spin stories for the U.S. government. I guess maybe they are now. Let me adjust this thing. Maybe they are now. But in the past, they were there to tell us the news. They were de there to investigate things, to find the truth, you know, speak truth to power. And now they seem to be just the propaganda arm of the U.S. government. And that is a really, really sad thing. Now, a lot of you are probably saying, you know, well, duh, you know, it's been like that for a while. But, it, you know, this is just another reminder. I know, I'm aware of it, but having lived in China and seen how the news works, it, it really feels like a punch in the gut to see our news agencies, these uh, big corporate news people, acting the same way. 
I remember when China, you know, Xi Jinping came to visit uh, San Francisco and they were, you know, trying to uh, heckle the Chinese news people, which of course they would like, oh, you guys, you know, this is the American news. You guys can't report except what they tell you. We're the real journalists and we report, you know, the truth. <laughs> it's like, well, you know, I, maybe that was true uh, 20 years ago. I don't know when it was true, but uh, it felt pretty hypocritical coming out of their mouth uh, at the time. And this just goes to show, you know, they could have been like uh, a real story just talking about what happened in Moscow. Instead, it has to be kind of twisted into this thing like, hey, you know, the United States government is the good guy here trying to warn them about the terrorist attack. We're not going to tell you about the details of the terrorist attack. We're going to we're busy trying to say that the United States government is not involved in any way. In fact, we're the good guys. And, and that's the case. I was not aware that NBC News was part of the government, but I guess uh, maybe I was. But yes, w well done, everybody. You guys are ahead of this, uh, knowing this. Again, I don't think that the United States government had a hand to play in this. I think that they really did try to warn them. And maybe after, you know, they probably knew a bit more about what was going to happen on October 7th, is my guess, and failed to share that information and then it resulted in this uh, the terrible tragedy that is still unfolding to this day. And here they tried to do something about it, especially... Are there really still... <laughs> who are these Americans that are still over there? I guess there's, there's a guy. There's a guy on YouTube. And if you search on YouTube for American Expat, which is me, I am American Expat, Instead, it comes up with this American guy that's living in Russia, making videos about how great it is to be in Russia instead of America. And it's like, what? How does this, you know, who's even looking for this thing? I, I'm, I'm almost certain that, well, I, I can't say. I shouldn't complain, but he's what comes up first. And he's not even called the American expat. He's called expat American. And he's the one getting all the people looking. Well, nobody's really looking for me. But uh, if they were, they would find that guy instead. And hopefully they wouldn't think it's me because he doesn't look anything like me. And I would not be living in Russia. I would be living in China. Why Russia? Come on. I don't eat borscht. Is that what it's called? The red beet soup stuff? Oh, man. I've heard people tell me that the stuff in Ukraine is better than the stuff in Russia. Um beet soup to me is uh, just as terrible everywhere but maybe that's because i have not actually experienced the stuff from kiev i did visit kiev once upon a time and i did eat food there and it was very good i didn't have borscht though so maybe uh maybe it would be better if i had the borscht from from there instead of the borscht that's russian but of course the only russian borscht that i ever had was in colorado so that probably doesn't count either oh well i i knew a lot of ukrainian people and Russian people in China. And they always raved about the borscht, except that I, yeah, never mind. That's that's ridiculous. What am I even talking about? Well, and now you see, this is, uh, this is true. They gave warning at least two weeks prior to American citizens and supposedly the Russian government. And uh, there you go. That's the update on the unfolding situation in Moscow. Hopefully, I, well, I wish that this would mean like, hey, we don't want to have any more war or destruction or death. Maybe it's time for us to back off a little bit. But no, it seems that this is actually dialing it up. So we'll, we'll continue to watch this and see where it goes. And um, I'll end this here. You guys make sure you comment. Tell me if you have any add-ons or additional information that might be beneficial here again i'm not the expert here i'm not a journalist i don't even know what counts as a journalist but um, i'm definitely not so yeah don't don't mistake me for one of those people that know everything i don't know anything so share your knowledge and i'll see you guys in the next one ทำจำพระกาไปไกลตา